What's up everyone, my name is Alex Costa and I have a fun list for you guys watching today and it has to do with something that you have on your body right now, I, I hope, um, a shirt. Please be wearing a shirt or some kind of clothing, please. I figured I'm always showing you guys cool clothes to wear, interesting things to buy, but today is all about the shirts that you should never wear. The shirts that will make you look way worse than you deserve to look. Are you ready? Starting with number one guys, white tees with armpit stains and you know who's guilty of this one that that would be me sometimes not because i mean to wear stained shirts but sometimes you don't notice the armpit stains until it's too late and you're out with your boys and you know somebody points it out because you go like this and it's embarrassing guys make sure that you're checking for yellow stains on your white tees because otherwise you're gonna look like a slob and if you do have the stains and try to get them off with bleach or stain remover that's gonna make it look a lot better. Next on the do not wear list, sports jerseys. But before you hate on me, all right, I'm not saying you should never wear a sports jersey ever. I'm just saying don't wear them everywhere you go. I swear, every bar I go to here in LA, there's always that one guy, you know, that one dude who's standing by the bar, all right, he's got his, his, his beer, his backwards hat, and he's wearing a sports jersey. Of course he is. And the thing is, if there's a game going on, if it's a sports bar, then hell yeah, like rock the jersey, support your team. But if you're going to a nice upscale place and wearing that, then my man, you need to rethink your outfit choices. You need to upgrade, leave your team jersey at home and wear something that's gonna make you look less like a bro. This next type of t-shirt, it was actually the fastest trend to die ever. I'm talking about long lines. And I remember when this became popular because of like Justin Bieber and some other celebrities who rocked them. Everyone started buying and wearing long lines. They were the hottest trend on earth. Literally a year later, the trend was gone. It was a fad. It was just a temporary glitch in the system because people realized that they actually made you look shorter. It made you look sloppy and it wasn't stylish at all. So get regular length shirts, guys. Those are gonna look way better on you. By the way, if you're looking for new clothes online, I have an amazing suggestion for you. Today's sponsor, Rakuten, is the largest cashback site ever. It partnered up with over 3,000 huge name brands like Nike, H&M, Best Buy, Adidas, Macy's, etc. Thousands more, right? Basically, it brings you cash back, it gives you coupons and promo codes all for free. All you have to do is click through the links found on Rakuten and then shop on the store's website like you normally would. You literally get money back from shopping that you were already going to do. It's a no-brainer. Why would you not use them to shop if you're gonna get all of those benefits for free? By the way, they used to be called Ebates for you guys who are more familiar with that name. They've been doing this for a long time. They're not new and they're very reliable. Now to make this deal even sweeter, if you join for free with the link in my description, then you're gonna get a $10 welcome bonus on your first purchase of $25 or more, which is it's already a great deal, right? You're, you're getting like half off your first purchase of 25 bucks. Plus, we're doing a giveaway together, $250 giveaway, all right? Me and Rakuten. You have to sign up to Rakuten using the first link in the description and then click the second link to enter the giveaway. So check the links in the description below and get your holiday shopping done the proper way. They're gonna be running a double cash back through the end of year. Everything is listed in the description below. All right, next on today's list, shirts that are way too tight. And yes, I'm looking at you over there wearing that schmedium, all right? You're 6'3", 180 pounds, and you're wearing that little thing? Come on, I get it, you're trying to show off your gains, but sometimes, sometimes it's too much. And I know that because I used to do that, all right? I used to wear really tight shirts because, you know, I want people to see what I, I, was, I was in the gym, dude. I, I, I wanted to see the arms, everything, the veins. I think, like, it's too much. Now that I'm a little bit older, I realize that, but I wish I knew that sooner. So find a brand that makes shirts that are gonna fit you well. Look, they have to fit you nice and well. They have to be slim fit but they can't be too tight. A good tip here is just watch out for any fabric that's pulling. If the fabric is pulling on your shirt kind of like this, then it's way too tight and it's probably too uncomfortable to wear out anyway. I mean, my hair is on another level today and that's because I'm not wearing any product, which is crazy, but it's, it's working. All right, Wife Beaters, the name that says it all, man. It's kind of funny how this name actually stuck with this tank top, isn't it? Like, who would ever wear something that's called a wife beater. Actually, I, I, I kind of did, like back in 2005. It, it was cool, I'm not gonna lie, but nowadays, please don't. It's not a cool look anymore, and the name makes it so much worse. If you wanna wear a shirt underneath for, for comfort, 
for warmth, then get an undershirt, like a crew neck, you know, or a v-neck, something a little bit more classy, less trashy, and that is not called a wife beater. And please, definitely do not ever wear a wife beater on its own because you're just, you're gonna regret it later when you look, at, look back at those photos. Trust me, it, it's happened. The next item on this list, it needs to go. Deep V-necks should not be found anywhere near your closet. And I used to wear V-necks, and I still do sometimes, I wear like V-neck sweaters, but they're very minimal Vs, all right? The ones that I'm talking about on this list are the crazy obnoxious V-necks that no guy should ever even try on. The ones that show more chest hair than it should, you know, sometimes almost shows off your nipples or your belly button, that's too much cleavage. Let's stay away from those and rock crew necks instead because they're never gonna go out of style. All right, they're always gonna be classy and you're never gonna regret buying a crew neck. Cartoonish graphic t-shirts. I see so many guys wearing this, it's insane. If you have a beard, you should not be rocking a Star Wars t-shirt to go out on a dinner date. I get it, we all like Baby Yoda. He's like the hottest meme on the internet right now, but it's not cool enough for a dinner date outfit. Wear it when you're at home. You know, you're chilling, you're in bed, or you're on, a, on your couch. But as soon as the thought of leaving your house crosses your mind, you should immediately change your tea to something that's a little bit more grown up. Guys, you can join Rakuten to get cash back on all your purchases and enter the giveaway. All right, I'm gonna leave two links below. Make sure to click on both of them. It's so easy and hopefully you're gonna win this one. All right, believe in yourself. If you liked today's video, if you learned something new and if I made you throw away one of your teas or your dirty wife beater, man, that name just always sounds bad. Then, uh, then subscribe, become part of the YouTube family, and uh, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you again very soon. Peace.